Hey everyone, it's Riya Shree and thank you so much for visiting my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you all 10 very useful and interesting kitchen maintenance tips and tricks or hacks. I hope you will like this one. Food sticking at the bottom of the stainless steel while cooking is a common problem. Let's see how to deal with this. Point number one, keep the flame in low to medium. Point number two, preheat the pan before adding oil. To understand the pan has properly preheated or not, we can run a water test. Pour some water when the pan is getting preheated and if the water evaporates like this then the pan hasn't reached to the proper temperature yet. And if the water starts rolling around on the pan surface like this then that means the pan is at the right temperature and we can start cooking now. And point number 3. Add oil, butter or ghee whatever you like and coat the pan thoroughly. And now your pan will act as a non-stick. Let's fry an egg to check whether these tips actually work or not. See, no sticking at all. Happy cooking! Never use a steel wool or steel scrubber to clean your stainless steel cookware as steel scrubbers can damage the cooking surface. Rather, use a rough scrubber like this. Just a little dish soap and a good scrubbing should remove maximum stuck on food. But if the stains are tough, then boil some water along with 1 third cup of vinegar and 1 teaspoon baking soda. When the mixture comes to a rolling boil, switch off the flame and let the pan cool down completely. Then discard the water and with the help of dish soap and a rough scrubber clean the pan. After cleaning, with the help of a dish cloth, wipe the utensils dry to avoid watermarks. New utensils often come with these labels and peeling of these is difficult and effort consuming. So here's a hack. Take a hair dryer and blow like this. The hot air will melt the glue and it will become easy to peel off the labels. Alternatively, one can also heat up the utensil in gas oven for 10 to 15 seconds to remove the labels easily. For this leftover glue, use oil. Any cooking oil that you have in your kitchen, I am using sunflower oil. Take little oil in a cloth and rub like this. The glue will be removed in no time without much effort. Gas hob or gas stove is the most used appliance in the kitchen and due to its intense daily use it tends to get very dirty and with time maintaining it like a new one becomes a challenge. So I use pink stuff. It's made with 99% natural ingredients, it's environmentally non-toxic, non-hazardous formulation and not tested on animals. Just take some pink stuff and with the help of a scrubber, apply on the cooktop evenly. Just little bit of scrubbing and you will see all the spills and burnt marks are getting removed. Now, with the help of a damp cloth, wipe the gas oven.
I use pink stuff for cleaning the burner stands and burner rings as well. For cleaning the burners, take a big size bowl, add hot water, juice of half lemon and two sachets of eno. Leave the burners in this mixture for 2 hours. After 2 hours, take a steel scrubber or steel brush and scrub. It takes 8 to 10 minutes of good scrubbing to clean each burner. Next, clean the burners with dish soap. And lastly, rinse the burners in clean water well and wipe dry with the help of a cloth. Accidental spillage happens while working in the kitchen. Here's the quick trick to tackle frustrating oil spillages. Simply sprinkle some salt over the spilled oil. The salt will absorb all the oil and the mixture will become powdery. Now, with the help of a squeegee or a wiper, scrape the oil salt mixture. Now clean the area with this soap and the oil spill will be vanished in no time. Vinegar and soy sauce comes in these bottles and these bottles are not spill proof and that's why while pouring the contents used to spill. So to spill proof these bottles I use these oil bottle nozzles. These are easily available online and can fit in almost every bottle which has a narrow opening like this. See, no spills at all. If you also think it's a good hack, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Pest inside the house creates pure nuisance and can cause health hazards. I prefer using natural or herbal solution as pest repellents. I feel it's the safer option when you have kids or pets at home. Here I have prepared a solution out of 1 cup of water and 4 to 5 drops of tea tree oil. Insects like spiders, cockroaches, ants and mosquitoes don't like the smell of tea tree oil. Just spread it around the house to repel these insects. However, if you have serious pest problems, problems in your house, then please consider reaching out to the pest control professionals. Sink is one of those areas from where pest infestation happens inside our house. So I follow a strict sink cleaning routine. Whether the drain is clogged or not, I clean the drain pipe with unclogging detergent once in 15 days. I use the store brought drain cleaners. Just empty one full packet of the drain cleaning detergent then add a cup of water and leave for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, rinse the drain well with water. To remove hard water stains from the sink, I use pink stuff.
Just scrub thoroughly and wipe with a damp cloth. Pink stuff not only removes hard water stains but also remove grease, grime or food stains if any from the sink and makes the sink shine like a new one. After cleaning with pink stuff, I like to clean the sink with dish soap. Also on regular basis as part of my nighttime kitchen cleaning routine, I clean the sink with dish soap to keep the sink clean and hygienic. After cleaning, drying is a very important step, so don't skip it. Always dry the sink with the help of a dish cloth or a microfiber cloth to avoid water stains and keep the sink nice and shiny always. Let's prepare a DIY grease cutting solution. Mix 1 cup of vinegar with 2 cups of water and 2 tablespoons of dish liquid and transfer this mixture to a spray bottle. This cleaner is very effective to clean oil deposits on the appliances. Just spray some solution and with the help of a microfiber cloth rub it. You will see all the oil deposits or grease is coming out without much effort. I also use this solution for cleaning the countertops, backsplashes and wiping the chimney. A dishwasher uses hot water and detergent while cleaning the utensils. So does it needs thorough cleaning? The answer is yes. This filter needs to be cleaned once in a week. And once in every two months, we should deep clean our dishwasher. One of the popular ways to deep clean the dishwasher is the vinegar and the baking soda method. Take a cup of raw white vinegar in a dishwasher safe utensil and run the dishwasher on the hottest cycle. When done, take out the vinegar and sprinkle baking soda at the bottom of the dishwasher and run the machine on the shortest cycle. After cleaning, let the dishwasher air dry for few hours. Alternatively, one can also use this kind of store brought dishwasher cleaner. As per the instruction, don't remove the cap, only peel off this sticker and put it upside down at the bottom rack of the dishwasher and run the dishwasher on the hottest cycle. So that was all about for today everyone, hope you will find these tips useful and if so, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll meet you in my next video. Until then, take care and bye bye.